Name for Beginners, Object Variants. In this video, I will teach you about object variants, what they are, how to use them, as well as compare them against objects with inheritance. The code for this video and its script documentation styled with NIMIB is in the links in the description as a form of offline tutorial. Object variants are when making an object and using logic to split it into several unique parts. This is done by using a case statement and enumerators. Object variants are an easy way of having, as the name suggests, variants of the same object. Sometimes, or often, an object hierarchy would be an overkill. Needless complication. So, let's start with a simple example. First, we make an enumerator within a type section, with its enumerations of line, circle, rectangle. So, type, let's give it the name of kind, enum for enumerator, line, circle, and rectangle. Secondly, we make our object with its variants by using a case statement with the enumerator from above like this. Our object, let's call it draw object. Then we need our case statement. So let's call it kind and the, then the enumerator kind. And then for each of our enumerations, line, circle, and rectangle. So off line then variables for each, and they must be unique. So LX, LY as integer. Also, the variables, uh, variable names must be unique because uh, this is all still the same object. So off circle, then uh, let's call it CX and CY as integer also. Let's make all of them integer. So off rectangle and then uh, rx1, ry1, rx2, ry2 as integer. Now let's demonstrate this by making a variable for each of the object variants and echo them. Also make a constant for P, circles radius. So constant for it, const P is 3.14. Now var draw line, type draw, and for its kind, line, and then LX, let's say 10, LY, let's say 50. Now let's copy paste this to make this faster uh, for all of them. So draw circle and then kind circle again. And then we need uh, to change this to CX and uh, CY. Uh, let's give them diff different values. Increment of 10. And then for its radius uh, pi, our constant here. And then last one, rectangle. Uh, rectangle type. And now we need four of these for this one. So rx1, rx2, uh, let's just copy paste. At two ry rx and ry. Okay, now let's display them with echo. So echo draw line. Uh, copy paste for all three of them. Uh, no, before that, let's give them some uh, some string to make this uh, more pleasable to the eye. Uh, so draw line type is and then it's type so that it's going to display the type uh, and uh, 
the kind that we use, the variant. So let's copy paste this. And then circle. Uh, let's just copy paste. Circle, 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 and the rectangle. Now let's run this. Here we go. Uh, the first one is, let me help you. Uh, so line type draw, they're all of type draw because uh, obviously the same object, we're just discriminating what functionality they have based on the enumerator, uh, their kind, field name. Shared fields. When using object variants, we can easily share fields between them all as well. This is as simple as adding those fields before or after the case statement. So let's try this with a different example I have made here. So here is our enumerator of enemies one, footman, and mage. And then also made another one for armor and spells. And here is our object enemy with its three fields, all of these, damage, attack range, and health, all of these will be shared between both of these kinds of footman and mage. Now let's initialize a variable for each object varying kind and then display them both. So, war soldier, type enemy object, and then kind will be footman and then let's give it armor of did I type this right uh, yeah <laughs> British and American style of uh, grammar or spelling medium health uh, 200 damage 5 uh, and uh, lastly, attack range. Let's give it, uh, let's say 50. And now let's copy paste this line. And now for the mage, uh, let's call it sorcerer so we don't uh, reuse the same name. So copy it here. And then we're gonna have to change quite a bit. So we give it spells. It doesn't, uh, sorcerer will, or mage will not have armor unless you wanna play a battle mage. So let's give it spells. Uh, we need a sequence. So root and heal. And then belt will be less to make it. Uh, as if we were making a game. Damage more, obviously. And attack range also, let's say, 600. Now let's also echo boat and fix, fix this mistake. So echo, uh, soldier. And uh, let's get its type as well. So those are that kind and then echo sorcerer could have copied this sorcerer that kind now let's run this here we go they're both using the same uh, damage attack range and health fields share fields circle ellipse problem in case you have heard of the circular ellipse problem or rectangle square problem, object variants are the solution to this problem. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, as well as click the bell icon if you liked it. You can also follow me on Twitter of the same name and support me on Patreon. 
If you had any problems with any part of the video, let me know in the comment section. The code for this video can be found in the video's documentation script styled with Nimib as a form of offline tutorial. Have fun!